everybody, Tombstone Thai, this week at Dawny Park and Wildwater Kingdom. Okay, maybe not Wildwater Kingdom during this visit, but I am here for Dor Dorney Park's Halloween haunt. Uh, and I am really, really excited for this. I think this is going to be uh, a ton of fun. And I am here with Adventures with Parker. So uh, that is uh, that is awesome. Uh, yeah, he, he is awesome. Make sure to check out his channel. He's going to have uh, so, some fun content from this trip as well, I'm sure. So, uh, yes, we're going to hopefully get through all the mazes and scare zones and a bunch of rides and maybe some of the shows. It's going to be a fun night. Thorny Park isn't known for being very busy, so I think I think we should be okay tonight, uh, getting getting through everything. And uh, yeah, just really, really looking forward to doing some comparisons because this is my first time at a non-Wonderland Halloween haunt. Okay, I just got through uh, <laughs> ticket scanners, and some of them are dressed up for the occasion. And by that, for this week, it means that they are dressed as. Uh, Christmas elves, uh, <laughs> which is very strange, uh, but also awesome. Uh, there is a teddy bear, a very menacing looking teddy bear up here as well. Uh, and uh, yes, that is awesome. I, I love it. Uh, I believe this is all related to the uh, Midway Misfits that, uh, <laughs> that we have. Uh, at Dorney Park, that they have at Dorney Park. Hello! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> oh man, that is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I really, really love that. Uh, yeah, such a fun costume. Uh, and they do also have this amazing Halloween haunt sign uh, here at the entrance. Uh, this sign in general is new this year. Uh, I know that, uh, yeah, they did have, uh, they, they didn't have anything here before, but then they installed a brand new entrance sign for Dorney Park, uh, which is great. It's a great photo op here at the front of the park. Uh, and you do have the grand carousel here, which maybe I'll get on tonight. Who knows? Uh, you do also have a display for Iron Menace. Uh, yes, very excited to check out the, uh, the construction site for this. I do have a little clip that I filled outside the park before I got in here. Uh, but yes, you do have the McTavish Steel Facility. Uh, and uh, oh my goodness, I am very, very excited for Iron Menace. Uh, even though I'm not sure if I'll be back next year, it, it, uh, the coaster just looks fantastic. And I know that I will be back to Dorney Park very, very soon because uh, I, I just, I love Dorney Park. It is amazing. Our <laughs> Menace. Quick update from outside Dorney Park on Iron Menace. Uh, yeah, you can see that they have been digging for uh, some footings and such. That is awesome. Uh, it looks great uh, how much progress they have made. Uh, Iron Menace is opening here at like the very end of the park in 2024. Uh, and yeah, it looks like it is going to be a really fun ride. Uh, yeah, love dive coasters uh, in general. Uh, yeah, I just, I, I do. They're, they're fun rides, whatever. Uh, um, but right here, this is the most exciting thing. I think this just arrived today, or maybe it was yesterday, but a piece of track is here for Iron Menace. That is amazing. Uh, yes, I believe this is Dorney's Overflow uh, parking lot. So uh, yeah, not able to go into that lot, which uh, kind of makes sense with uh, the track piece there. But yes, and there are uh, support things there, including that, which looks to be uh, right around where the uh, top of the lift hill will be. So the staircases leading up to the top of the lift hill. That looks awesome. Uh, and yes, interestingly, uh, Iron Menace is uh, is going to be a little bit unique uh, for for a couple of reasons, and one of those reasons is heading straight into the uh, the first drop. No no turnaround at uh, at the top of the lift hill. So those stairs are going to be just you know just a few feet away from that first drop. Awesome. Absolutely love the lighting packages on Troikas. That's always a, a really, really good job uh, with those. Uh, Kaleidoscope is a ton of fun. This is different. Uh, Wonderland has a hearse, or at least it used to. Uh, but Dorney, Dorney has a truck. <laughs> a almost monster-like truck, but it's full of skeletons. So maybe let's call this the skeleton truck. That looks really, really great. And even look at the lighting here on the pavement. The bats. Oh, that looks great. I love that. I love that little detail. Oh man. Okay, I'm 
I'm so excited to check out everything that Dorty has to offer here. All right, I do believe this is the Midway Misfits uh, Scare Zone, which is fairly small, but that is because they change it out, uh, I think, every week, every week or two, uh, which is incredible that they're able to do that. So this week it is Krampus, which is why we had elves at the front gate. And oh my goodness, like this, this is awesome. I love that Dorney Park, they don't, they don't even have like a, <laughs> a Winterfest event. So this is all just like for Haunt and the fact that they invested in, in doing this and doing a different theme for this area like every week is really, really fun. It is a fairly small area. So I don't know if maybe there's more to it on like the other side of the swing ride here, but regardless, yeah, no, I am I am digging the fact that, that Dorney does this like awesome transition every single week. Sometimes. I think this one's a bit defective. Yeah. I don't know. The one that comes to our mind Yep. Hello. <laughs> Oh, that's no good. <laughs> oh, that's not good at all. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I fixed it. We're smiling. <laughs> now it's working. They broke again. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> So Conjure in the Night just wrapped up. And uh, yeah, it, it wasn't really the show that I was expecting, um, but it was it was good. Like, I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it was, uh, it was mostly a dance show, which I'm generally not much of a fan of, uh, but I really, really like that it tells a story, that there are some theatrics in there. Uh, so yeah, overall, that was really fun. And, you know, once again, something that I look for when I'm doing, uh, you know, non-Wonderland trips. It was very different from anything that we get at Canada's Wonderland. So yeah, that was that was pretty cool. All right, as we head toward Talon, uh, the queue for Talon, uh, we just got out of blackout. At least I, I think we did. I, I don't think know. We did. Yeah, I think we did. That was that was a bit uh, a bit wild. Um, not really being able to see where you're supposed to go. Even yeah. <laughs> there are little arrows. Um, but like when there's somebody in front of you, you can't even see the arrows. So it's just kind of uh, chaotic. Yeah, yeah, that, that was the word Parker used. I'm gonna use yes. that too. Yeah, yeah, no, that was uh, interesting. Interesting. I don't, I don't even know if I liked it or not. Yeah, I was just... <laughs> but it was, 
different and definitely different than uh, Wonderland's version of Blackout. So, yeah, different. I like different. All right, I believe we are heading into Port of Call now. <laughs> Hello. Okay, that's really cool. Okay, yeah, that that scare is actually really good. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know what's happening, but it's good. Lots of, ooh, okay, yeah, we got a slider here. <laughs> One time. Okay. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. We're we're leaving Port of Call. I think no, are we just entering? Hello. <laughs> oh, that's a fun pirate. Hello. How are we doing? Really great. How are you doing? Wonderful, glad to have you around. Yeah, yeah. This is. Uh, I I already saw one of the shows, but but yes, maybe I'll see the other. Uh, I think I do have to do all the mazes. This is my very first time at Dorney Park's Hall Halloween haunt, so. Yes. Uh, I haven't done it yet. Yes. I, I I think I might save that for a little later in the evening. Yes. Yes. Well, I will keep you then. You will have fun. Thank you so much. All right. Great to meet you. Bye. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. These set pieces. These set pieces are huge. Like huge. This is awesome. Oh my goodness. What? What is even happening? Like this? It's it's full like ships. Full ships. This is wild. Man, okay, yeah, no, I, if we had a pirate-themed scare zone like this, I think, I think I'd like it. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, this is huge. <laughs> but, like, these set pieces. Yes. yes. What? What is even happening? They, these are gigantic. I love this. Oh, man. Okay, yes, yeah, so we do have another one here. This is a giant skull. Absolutely massive. Wow. <laughs> this is insane. Just wild, 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 wild. We're gonna attack an unarmed, defenseless pirate. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not that much bigger than you. He took your cock? Uh, no, I'm you. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't have that. <laughs> I'm on your side. Come right, on, you're on your own then. You got this. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, by all means, I'm Correct. on your side. Now you're doing your own thing. <laughs> 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 oi, oi, oi. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh no! You're not bleeding in the bag. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. You're all rolling around the crowd. You lost. You're not bleeding that long either. Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you encourage it? <laughs> <laughs> you encourage it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. How'd you feel? I bet you you feel great. I know it hurts. Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> that was a lot of hard work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah being stabbed, I mean, that's... 
I'm just the funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> you can beat me, but you cannot silence me. Scottish in me is too strong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Yep. <laughs> you told me to pick, and I'm picking. That one. That one. Yeah, Ben. Yeah, Ben. Amsterdam, there was a favor. Oh, what I do say. And Amsterdam, there was a favor. She was the choice of her trade. I'm going to go to the world. I'm going to go to the world. All right, heading into Carnival <laughs> here at Dorney Park. And I mean, this, this banner, this entrance is awesome. Uh, but of course, of course, I mean, this Carnival is not going to be nearly as good as uh, the one at Wonderland. I mean, that just goes with that set. I love this set piece. I'm sorry. I love it. It's so good. <laughs> I want it. Isaiah! <laughs> Isaiah! Oh, yeah. oh fantastic. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> oh man, this is this is fun. I, I, this really does have a carnival carnival feel, which is really great uh, because that's how Carnival should feel. Um, I mean, all the games around here help. Hello! Those are nice. How do I get those? <laughs> uh, you know, you gotta get a prescription. You gotta like go a out. A prescription? Yeah. Oh <laughs> I can't even spell my lane, let alone fill out paper. Oh, <laughs> I am not British. Oh, sorry. Sounded Canadian. Canadian. Close. Canadian. Close. Canadian. Close. Canadian. Close. <laughs> uh, oui, je peux pas rentrer de français. Oh, my bad. Oui, oui. For me, I'm a, I'm a I'm not talk, talk. I mean, I'm insulting so many people right now. I'm so <laughs> Okay. I am a clown. You won't tell. For legal reasons, don't cancel me. Yes. Oh man. Okay. Yes. The uh, the clouds here are uh, just as engaging as the ones at Wonderland. Um, of course, you know maybe maybe the dynamic doesn't work quite as well here. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That, that's a fun mallet you have there. Yeah, it's a bowling pin. A yes. Bowling pin. Oh, yes. Yeah, I see it now. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Okay, did you make that yourself? No, it's just fun. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. All right, play. <laughs> Woo. Oh, Oh, the set pieces. The set pieces are so good. Hello. Don't wear your shoes untied. You're going to untie that thing. It's very dangerous, you know. Yes. Very dangerous. <laughs> very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, yes. Oh, wow. The set pieces here are incredible. The scarers are doing a great job. Um, sneaking up on people, which is fun. You got the... Ooh, the welcome animatronic, the Barker, of course. You gotta have that. The set pieces. Have I mentioned the set pieces? Um, this. This is incredible. I love this. I love this Jack in the Box so much. And I just, I just want... I just want this. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah. Oh man. Hello. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's amazing. Can you ask me a question? Let's just sneak at you. Absolutely. I hate to tell you, but I'm not in love with the shape of you. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> All right, so far I have been very impressed by uh, the scare zones here at Dorney Park's Halloween Haunt. Uh, heading in through Dystopia now, I believe. Uh, and it definitely looks like a dystopia, so that's good. Uh, <laughs> not seeing a lot of scares yet, but these scare zones have surprised me with how large they are. So I'm... I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully running into some some friends here. Uh, I mean, I hope I hope they can be friends. 
we'll we'll see. Um, yeah, but already, I mean, again, I am so impressed by the set pieces that Dorney Park has. Oh my goodness, their giant skull over there. The <laughs> oh man, yes, fantastic. This is, oh wow, okay, the name is on that giant storage crate. <laughs> so good. Hello. Fun times. Love, 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 demon drop. And I am about to get on it during Halloween hunt. Maybe it'll make it here. Regardless, it still seems just as janky, which is awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Demon drop. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm so glad I came back to Doherty Park, if only because I got to ride this again, because, oh my goodness, what? This ride is just so weird, I love it. <laughs> it is so unlike any other ride I have ever been on. Just fantastic. I love unique ride experiences, and just, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> it's so good. All right, a couple things as we are leaving roadside stop and chop. Uh, <laughs> first of all, that was a really long maze compared to what I'm used to. <laughs> um, that was really good. Man, it has corn maze parts. It has, uh, you know, going through the general store here at the beginning. Uh, oh my goodness, it just, it has so much stuff. Really good. Oh my goodness, the set design, fantastic. I, I am so envious of <laughs> <laughs> of Dorney Park right now because they just they, they just they, oh my goodness it's so good so far everything has been really really fantastic and the maze that that maze fantastic all right I had already heard I, I had seen and, and heard that Dorney Park does haunt right um, the set design here is incredible everything about like the sets there are so many of them they are so big and it is just fantastic i love 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 uh what they're doing with the scare zones and is that a camera? yes it is don't film me. <laughs> there you go you're filmed <laughs> um yes yes and uh oh man even the mazes the set design in there incredible sadly the zephyr is not currently operating Ooh. Wonderland has two of these giant skeletons. Dorney Park has five that I can see. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. And you can get really close to them for these uh, photo ops. That is, yeah, that's really awesome. Oh man, there are even more. Okay, there are even more. Dorney knows what it's doing here. Scrambler, maybe, maybe not. Okay, I will say that these skeletons appear, I think they're a little smaller than the ones at Wonderland, but they are still, there are so many. I feel like there's like 15. I don't, I don't even know, I lost track. But, oh man, and this one doesn't even have its head on. That's unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> just got out of Necropolis and what? That was so weird and different. I loved it. It was uh, all outdoors, all like just walking on on dirt and uh, <laughs> and it just you know like wood chips and everything. Even like the pathway to get to it, um, and all of that is totally appropriate because it is a graveyard and it is just a very open graveyard. It is amazing what they were able to do with open space. Not not like you know there are twists and turns but it's all open you can see through like the whole maze except that it's dark and foggy um but oh my goodness yeah that was that was weird and awesome loved it 
just got out of Trick or Treat, which is, uh, it feels like a very, like, traditional haunted house vibe, uh, which is interesting. I, I, I liked it. Uh, a lot of animatronics, uh, just, you know, small ones, uh, doing this, that, and the other. But I feel like, for the most part, they're almost used as distractions, which I kind of love. That was, yeah, really, really fun. Uh, yeah, I, I, I like the whole vibe of it. Uh, I like the classic feel to it. Uh, not my favorite maze here at, at, at Dorney Park, but uh, but they definitely got me a few times, so that's, <laughs> that's good. Heading toward one of the scariest things in all of Dorney Park, the ride that lives on its own, Flying Eagles. Yeah! <laughs> it will not be alone for long, though. We do have Iron Menace coming uh, next year, so that is uh, yeah, really exciting. I am looking forward to it. I, I hope that I get to get back to Dorney Park very soon to, uh, to check it out. But in the meantime, Ghosts in the Machine is uh, apparently a little bit of a preview of the story that Dorney Park has in store for Iron Menace. So that's going to be really interesting to check out right now. Okay, I just got out of Ghost in the Machine. That was really good. I really love the storytelling in this maze. It is, it's really good. Uh, and I believe I did actually get to meet uh, <laughs> uh, Mr. McTavish himself, who uh, told, told me to uh, keep moving my lazy bones. So, <laughs> uh, yes, yes, if you're not careful, you will end up in the furnace. And that was awesome. That room even was, uh, was, a, little <laughs> was a little warmer. So that, was, that was fun. And, oh, a lot of really, really cool effects in there. Like, I don't know, projection stuff. And, uh, it, yeah, it, it, it just really, really well done. Uh, I, I, uh, I love this. Dorney Park continues to just really impress me. Over here, Monster has been taken apart, uh, which is, uh, I'm sure, just for standard, you know, maintenance, off-season maintenance. But now we are heading into The Hollow, which was uh, apparently settled in 1784. Very cool. Oh. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Hi. It's a big lens. <laughs> it is. Yes. <laughs> That's like a YouTube person lens. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, you know, YouTube look, is... Look, look, it's like a YouTube person lens. Look at it. Look at it. Well, it's like almost as big as your face. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I am a YouTube person, so, oh, so it makes sense. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Yes. Fun times. Fun times here in the hall. Hello, I am already having a great time. Uh, love the pumpkin that that Jack Lantern on the wooden fence there. That is awesome. The characters are doing a great job. Really engaging multiple guests, so that is awesome because I know that sometimes I worry that I sort of steal the focus from a lot of the. Uh, uh, from Hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, I kind of worry that you know maybe I'm getting a different experience than most guests. Hello. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> yep. Oh, this set piece is amazing. Love it. Um, but of course I do because it's at Dorney Park, and Dorney Park is just my goodness. These set pieces are so good. So good. Um, yeah, I mean, you do have some more standard fare as well, you know, just to balance it out. But, oh, and I'm walking through puddles. Uh, it is raining, which is not fun, but yes, this is this right here. This is awesome. It's really good. Okay, yeah, this is what I want the hollow at Wonderland to be. <laughs> but, uh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. The uh, the scares, fantastic job. Set pieces, absolutely amazing. Everything about that is just fantastic. Really, really, really love the Hollow here at Dorney Park. All right, I just got out of Tourist Trap, which is uh, yeah a hotel themed maze. Very interesting. Uh, I liked it. It was uh, 
I, I feel like it lacked a little bit in the set design department compared to just some of the other stuff here at Dorney Park's Haunt. But what it lacked in that, it, it really made up for in, in scares. And man, the, the, the performers here are, hello. Hi. Yeah, they are doing a fantastic job. Just, <laughs> I, I really love it. Um, they are, yeah, yeah, it's, it, it was really good overall. I like it. Lots of sounds, lots of sounds out of, out of nowhere, <laughs> which is scary, especially because you don't know what the sounds are and what, uh, yeah, <laughs> and where they're coming from. So it's, it's good, it's really good. Also, absolutely love this set piece right here. This giant pumpkin head figure crawling out of the ground. Oh, so good. An eerie near silence has uh, engulfed Dorney Park. Uh, I think the rain has really scared a lot of people away, uh, which is good for wait times, assuming that things stay open. Uh, it seems like the Misfits area is, uh, is a little empty now. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, I think, I, I, I mean, overall, this is good and a little extra creepy. So fun times, fun times. And now I've lost Parker. Parker? Parker? Parker! No, oh, no! Parker! Parker! Parker has left me. I'm here all by myself. There you are. I thought I lost you. <laughs> All right, it is the end of the night here at Dorney Park's Halloween Haunt. Oh my goodness, Dorney Park does such a good job with this event. Uh, you can tell that they just, they invest so, so much money into it, especially into the set pieces. Wow. <laughs> All the mazes are like, they're really, really good. Except maybe Blackout. Blackout maybe maybe fell a little short. But other than that, yeah, set design in general, awesome. Scare zones are, are fantastic. I mean, of course, they're, 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 no, they're no Wonderland Carnival and, you know, stuff like that. But, but they are really good, really fun characters. Um, and yeah, just overall, this, this is such a fun park. And I feel like more people need to... Uh, need to make sure to come here because it is amazing and it doesn't get enough love so yeah yeah and it was it was actually it got surprisingly busy right parker it did yeah yes <laughs> yes there were there were moments where it was a little busy obviously right now i think not we so are much right now no yeah not, so, not <laughs> scared everyone away. yes yes I, I i believe we are the last people in the entire park outside of employees of course um uh, <laughs> yes uh Fantastic. Ghost in the Machine. Wow. Wow. That is a really, really good maze. So, so much uh, has gone into that maze. So many different kinds of, of effects. They, they like cycle through different things and oh, the scares in there for our last walk through there. That was really good, wasn't it? Right, right. I, know. I still have a voice after that one. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, they they were doing a fantastic job. Um, I mean, everyone here tonight has been doing a great job. I, I like seeing the scarers uh, engaging with, with other guests as well, because I feel like a lot of guests at Wonderland just kind of pass through the scare zones without without engaging with, with the scarers, which yeah, that I think they should. The, the scares put in so much effort into building their characters. Let you know, let them use those skills because <laughs> they are awesome. And yeah, this I, I don't know. Uh, the hollow, 
definitely more of a pumpkin eater feel, as uh, Parker pointed yeah, out. Yeah, didn't connect the dots until later, but yeah, definitely in the realm of pumpkin. Yeah, yeah, definitely more of a pumpkin eater feel than Wicked Hollow. But again, giant set pieces like this one <laughs> is so good. Uh, oh my goodness. All right, I'm rambling. I've said a lot about a lot of stuff tonight. Blood on the Bayou, I don't think I mentioned that one. I, I, I forgot to film my reaction to that one. It was really, really good. Uh, very, very reminiscent of uh, Wonderland's Blood on the Bayou as well as Louisiana Scream. So that was awesome. And uh, yeah, yeah, no, it was really good. It had some fun animatronics in it, including the giant rat animatronic at the end. That one got me. Got me. That one was good. That might have been my biggest fear of the night. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, oh goodness, yes. Uh, lots of lots of screaming from Parker tonight. Just a um, little. <laughs> me, I, I'm more of a I laugh when I'm scared kind of person. So lots of laughter tonight, which means that I am not going to have a voice tomorrow. Not at all. Parker, how about you? Uh, yeah, no, I'm going to be voiceless. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, but this has been an absolutely incredible night. Again, I'm rambling a little bit, but really, really great. I want to come back to Dorney Park's Halloween Haunt. I also just want to come back to Dorney Park in general, including for Iron Menace coming next year. So, yes, I think that'll about do it. Until next time, as always, have a good one. This is my event, Halloween Haunt. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like the video, comment with anything you'd like me to cover in the future, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and support me on Patreon so that I can visit more parks and create more wonderful videos.